it's a Tanya. We are going to do my Ipsy standout for the month, for the year so far, January through June. Ah! <laughs> Hopefully, we got it figured out a little bit. Maybe, maybe should should be. All right. So I've already done my boxy standouts, so we're going to do some Ipsy standouts. So our first standout product is Modern Renaissance the ABH um, palette. I recently used this in a Get Ready With Me. I was very impressed. Um, this is my first ABH product, so I can say that I was very impressed with it. Love it, love it, love it. So this is very, definitely a stud. I will be rating these as studs or duds or just an average Joe product. <laughs> That's how we're going to rate it. Okay. And then we've got, and some of these I've used before, so some of them might just be repeats or um, my extras right now. Uh, so, our next product is the CEO Glow Vitamin C and Turmeric Face Oil by Sunday Riley. This is a stove product. Loving it. Love it. And then we've got the Olaplex number zero. Um, it's a stud. Stud. Very good product. Love it. And then we've got Juliet Has a Gun. And this is Vanilla Vibes. This is one of my current favorite perfumes. I just did a video on my top 10 current favorite perfumes. And that made the top 10. And then the Scrunchies. I, that was in my one of my add-ons for the first Ipsy Glam bag. X. The first Glam X. Where Patrick Ta curated it. Those are my favorites. Some of my favorite. I like the velvet or the silk scrunchies. Because we're on the hair journey and we don't want to make what we're doing worse. And then the Secure and Sage Vegan Eyeshadow and Blush Palette. I'm going to go with an Average Joe palette. It's good. It's, it's nothing to write home about. Um, but we're going to say Average Jack. And then we've got the Tula Skincare, the Coat Classic Purifying Face Cleanser. This is a standout, so I'm going to say it is a stud. <clears throat> and then we've got Kate Somerville Goat Milk moisturizing cream this is very smooth and moisturizing so we're going to say stud it's a stud 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 tower 28 i got this in the second ipsy x with chloe and this is in cashew and i love it and this is my first tower 28 um product and it's very good and hydrating and I do like it so I approve 10 out of 10 recommend and a stud it is a stud I haven't heard anybody saying stud or dud so I hope this is original I don't know we'll go with it and then the Oprah lip gloss and pink panther I'm gonna say stud 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 and the ABH uh, brow pen in ebony. I'm gonna say a uh, stud. I don't do much to my brows, but this is a good one when you do. Mine are microbated, so I don't. I don't make it a point to always do it, but every once in a while I'll flick one or two in there, here and there. <laughs> This is Item Bronzer. It's a good one. I like it. I usually just take and swirl on both of them and did the bronzer. 
out of sight stud and it also says on the mirror I love you say it back cute I haven't had a chance to use this one yet so I can't say whether or not it's going to be good it's the pink diamond cleansing balm by Rodal but I have a feeling it's just going to be a dud for me because I have some medical issues and it is like rock hard. <laughs> so I don't even know how I would get it out. I mean, look at it. Oh. Just packaging wise, I don't know how I have to say, probably dud. The palette, I mean, the, the stuff inside might be great, but just getting it out is going to be an issue. <clears throat> Tula Skincare Instant Facial Treatment Pads. Stood. The 111 um, Day Cream. I'm going to say a stud. It's moisturizing and the, the consistency of it is what I like. Um, on my creams, I don't like it where it's too thick. So I like it like medium consistency or a little bit on the thinner side. But that's just my preference. So if you, if you like the thicker creams, you might not like that. But I like that type of consistency. So I'm going to say stud. And then the Tatcha, the Deep Cleanse, I like. And also I've had the water clean, the water cream. I love them both. So I'm going to say stud. I couldn't find my water cream, so I must have used it all up. Um, the Koki Refresh Hydrating Setting Spray. It says it's long lasting. I'm just going to go with average Joe on this. I mean, I don't see anything that stands out and says it's wah. You know. I don't see anything extravagant about it. I'm just going to say average Joe. <laughs> and the papaya sorbet cleansing balm. I'm just going to say average Joe. Nothing too extravagant it stands out. Uh, the Pixie by Petra Flawless Beauty Primer. Um, I like it. I, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say stud, stud. And the True Belief uh, Aqua Balm Cream. I'm gonna say stud. I like it. Consistency's good. That's what I like about it. Uh, a lot of it has to do with consistency with me. And um, I mean, sometimes it's not even about you know being a miracle cream because I don't necessarily think there's miracle creams out there but nothing's gonna erase <laughs> erase time in my opinion but <laughs> it's all about what you like on your face what feels good and the Rodile soft focus glow drops I like um I call call it instead um, but I have really dry skin, so this going on my face before, um, uh, my foundation, it's great a lot of times. Um, especially if you're using, like, a matte foundation. Ooh, you really need something like that. The Avance, uh, Overnight Serum. Stood. And the Verso... Super Eye Serum, stud. Consistency wise, stud. I mean, I mean, it's not a miracle cream or anything. The First Aid Beauty Fat Pharma, very nourishing and hydrating. Love it, stud. Uh, the Makeup Forever an Ultra HD Cream. I I love it, stud. Got it through Ipsy. I think I got it on add-ons or whatever. And the 111 Skin Rose Gold Radiant Booster Stud. That's a, my backup. <laughs> and then we've got the First Day Beauty Coconut Skin Moisturizer Stud. Love it. Okay. 
how to do the skin care first. The complete, uh, the Alginus Complete Eye Renewal Balm. I'm going to say Average Joe. Um, Dr. Brandt Pores No More Vacuum Cleaner. I'm going to say it's a pure fine mask. I'm going to say Average Joe. And I think that's it. Skincare. Then we've got the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. I'm going to say Average Joe. Uh, I, went, I was hoping for more out of it. Um, and then we've got the About Face uh, Matte Painted Lip Color in Laskin Night. I'm going to say Average Joe. Um, I think it's the matte part of it. I like mine a little bit um, more silky. So That's just a personal, personal preference on my part. So it's, it's probably not the product itself because it's it's doing what it says. It says map, so it's just personal preference. Um, the Ofra face palette. It's beautiful. I'm gonna say stud. Pigments there. Blendability's there. The balm and the beautiful stud. Blendability's there. Colors there. Pigments there. Everything's there. Everything that's supposed to be there's there. <laughs> um, item one hit spray. I'm gonna say average Joe. Um, average, regular thing. Your regular thing. A uh, complex culture um, highlighter. It's dead. They actually have good products. I was impressed. No, I think that's Ipsy's. Like, I'm. Um, brand. And then we've got the the full time eyeshadow palette. It's ideal for light to medium skin tones. It says work wear brunch and not out. Blendability. Pigments all there. And then We've got the full time eyeshadow palette, dinner party, cocktail party, and surprise party, blendability, color pigments, all there. And then we've got Auto Bomb by the Bomb, Girl Powder, Cheeks on the Go. I'm going to say Average Joe. It's alright. It's alright. Then we've got the Patrick Tall Blushes. Patrick Tall Blushes. I got three of them. I got one in the, the box and then I got the other two on add-ons. And I'm glad that they paid attention to what colors I got in add-ons because they gave me the, the right one in the box. Um, I like them, the, the formulas, the shading, all that good stuff, so studs. And our last and final product um, on the studs and duds, or the average Joe's, is the Huda Beauty, the Rose Gold Palette Remastered, which came in the Ipsy X, the first one. And I will rank it as a stud, and that was my first Huda Beauty product at all. And I just recently got their mystery bag and got a second palette, which was not this one, so I was pleasantly surprised. And oh, ah. And then I did have like a little makeup bag that's my to-go bag, and I figured I'd just share a couple of the samples that I've gotten through um through Ipsy that are good for on the go and that are good. Like the First Day Beauty Coconut Cream. I got the Professional Super Setting Spray. 
Got the Basic Beauty Smooth and Blur Primer. And the Neutrogena Wipe. We got the Derma Bloom Professional Loose Setting Powder. Got the Cogis, uh Eye Pat Palette Stack. And make, you can use that on the cheeks. Um, got the Big Tart Big Ego Mascara. Got a little perfume. But I don't think that came from them. Got the Tarte. A little concealer. And a little thing. I think that came from Macy's though. But that's my little to go thing and those items all came from Ipsy. Except for the lip. Except for the lip. So that's my little to go bag and those are my stud duds and average jacks. Um, the my standout products from EFC Brother, they stood out for the good, for the bad, or for the normal. So there you go, guys. You'll have to let me know what you have in your EFC products that stood out to you, good or bad. Let me know below, because I'm nosy. <laughs> if you're new here, hi, I'm Tawny. I'm a little bit of sassy and hot mess. Hot mess with some southern sass. And as always, I'd love for you to join the squad by hitting that button down below. And hit that notification bell so you're notified each and every time I do upload. And as always, be uniquely you. Much love and thanks from Tennessee. And don't forget to hit that share button because that does help me out in the YouTube world more than you know. And I would truly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Now I have more good products than I realized. Totch is one of the best. Too there. Mm-hmm. Patrick Tyler. Gotta love Patrick Tyler. Yes, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.